This is me flipping out. Flipping out. I almost feel like I need to smoke a cigarette. And I don't even smoke. Good morning. It's Saturday. It's auction day. I'm super excited. I've got Mark here with me. There were a lot of things at the preview as far as photographs go that looked interesting and then there's a lot of things that we don't want. But in our area there aren't a lot of estate sales like from the classic sense of an estate sale. They're mainly estate sale auctions. So uh, they're every week. This is one that we're going to is one of our very favorite auction companies. So we're looking forward to seeing what we can find today. Hopefully it's some good stuff. I did see a few box lots and that's what I like to buy are the boxes full of things and then you can you find other treasures in there. The thing of it is I like to stay to the very end of the auction so I can get free things. I do well with free things. We'll see what we can get today. Doesn't seem to be a whole heck of a lot of people here. Ooh, look at all those parking spaces. Hot. Well, it is almost 45 minutes before the auction starts, so. There is nobody here. Woo, wait, look at this empty parking lot. Okay, well, that's good for us. I just got to this auction and there's nobody here. And let me just show you some things, because I'm freaking out just a little bit. All right, I'm freaking out a little bit about some of these lamps that I'm seeing. And this, maybe zoom out a little bit, this table here, this vanity here. I mean, it's like mid-century. I mean, I don't even know what to say. I don't even know what to, on it. these are glass, not to say. I don't know. But the one thing that's really flipping me out, I mean, look at all of these. This is a Capa Du Monte lamp here. And it looks like all of the, the petals are intact. All of them all. There's a little chip right there. But these are fabulous. There's some more mid-century pieces here. But this. That. I mean... I don't even know what to say. I've got I, I, yeah. mm -hmm. and some of these pieces here. Some of the Christmas pieces in general. And these old magazines too. I'm liking. As well as some of these art pieces. And those swings. I mean, from what looked like not that great of an auction. I mean, I mean and a really fabulous piece, I think. I mean, look at these beaded mid-century art pieces. And there's a peacock there and this group in here. I mean, I mean, come on. The, fr the frame alone. But look at all of this art. And there is nobody here. Now this could all change when it gets a little bit closer to the time of everything starting. But, I mean, I mean, look at those mirrors. Looked at the tables yet, but this is mid-century modern. There's lots of promise here. Okay, now this is a box of nightmares. That's the that's a box of nightmares. We won't we, we don't care about the nightmare box, but I mean my husband had to walk away from me because he knows I'm gonna I'm getting pretty ridiculous right now. Pretty ridiculous. I have to have this whole box here. Some of these, let me see what they say. This is something Ohio. It's like a little pot. These are cool. Salt and pepper, vintage salt and pepper. It's an old brother sewing machine. This Tonka truck is in amazing condition. But 
it's newer. These are these are not. They're, it's not a full cast piece. I mean, I mean, this is kind of nightmarish. I mean, this is very nightmarish, but I do like it. I remember these. Oh my gosh. <gasps> He's measuring. This is amazing. Okay. Let's look and see. No. Uh, there's some sheet music there. It's pretty cool. It's like a meat slicer. I mean, all these vintage magazines. I like. And here is a whole box. I have this tin, but I like that one. I'm like, I don't even know what to say. I just, I just don't even know what to say. In it? Yes, I want the. I, I like, I, I mm -hmm. yeah. But look at these old vintage magazines. I like them. Look, there's even braces for your feet. What? You can go over that way. Why? Well, I haven't looked over here yet. Did you get our numbers? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Okay. This is fabulous here. This is not. Um, this is very Enid Collins-esque, but I know that it's not. But this is a fabulous jewel tone handbag kit box what was in there i actually even kind of like those sh <laughs> what on is it a ragtime band teddy bears hmm. this is amazing too i don't even know what it is a full-length mirror <gasps> is that smurfs look at this electric motor repair manual that's pretty neat. Okay, I'm like talking a mile a minute. Look at the little Smurf boombox. I like these vintage tins and they're full of something. I can't open it with one hand. I kind of feel like probably buttons. Oh no, perils. Oh, I'll show you. Sorry, I didn't show you. Oh, oh no. Oh my God, look at the candy. It isn't often that, oh my, there's, Mark, there's your girl, Mark. He hates Dolly Parton. I, however, love Dolly Parton. There, it isn't very often that I am at a loss for words, but I quite honestly am at a loss for words at this auction. See, jewelry is something that I tend to stay away from. I know that there is a collectability market there, but I don't know a lot about it, so I don't really go for it a lot. This is cool. I just sold one of these last week. These are cool pieces. Look at those little girls over there. Those are pretty cool. The primitive pieces like this do well for me in the shop, so I do, I do buy those when I can get them for a decent price because I can sell them pretty well in the shop. These are amazing. I don't see any of the I Dream of Genie bottles, but you can see there's quite a big variety of this art glass here, decanters. Um, but these are hard to sell for me in the store, and I honestly I don't want to mess with storing them or shipping them. Oh, look, Jocelyn. Here's some babies for Ashton. If I can get these cheap enough, I will get these and I'll send them to you. There's a penguin and an elephant and a bunny. Are these... I was looking to see if these were St. Clair. Um, I'm from Anderson, Indiana, and that's where St. Clair paperweights were made. These are marked. That looks like the little Smurf house. I know that it's not. It Oh, there's a little Goldilocks and the three cats. Those don't look like theirs to me. But that's an Apco, so it's a vintage art piece there. Not seeing. 
Oh, there's a poodle schnuda. That's just a ceramic poodle, poodle schnuda. Yeah, I know. I like the. You well, know, yeah, they are seductive angels, aren't they? Those are some gold ones. This is neat. I did. I did. This is a very 1960s love mug with feet on the bottom. Look at oh, there's a little left and cheese. Oh my god, I just don't even know. This is a music box of some sort. I like I even like these. Believe it or not. Oh wow. You see all the bulbs? Alright. Oh this looks like a box of misty right here. There's a lot of singles in here. This guy goes with a car. There was, I'll have to see if the car is over in that other box lot. But there should be, there's a guy and a girl and they're in a black little plastic car. I mean, these are awesome. They're plastic. It's a turkey and a mushroom. What is he? Oh, he's a camel. I've never seen one like that. He's supposed to have another little rider in his canoe. I actually have these at the shop. They're souvenir pieces. And he's a hugger and he's missing his partner. Because I don't think that that goes with him. This is a chip and dip bowl. Big swan. These go on a carousel. There should be California powder. Yeah, California powder. old straw dispenser. I used to have one of these in my classroom that I'd keep pencils in. These are amazing. These little boxes here are stationary. This is a hosiery box. They're empty, but the boxes themselves are not really a work of art, honestly. Some baby Ruth boxes. These are neat, too. These are little... I don't think these are old, though. Those are reproductions. Uh, this mid-century dining set is pretty amazing here. It's not marked, but it's complete, and it's in great condition. The whole serving. So there's the oil and vinegar, vinegar cruet. Yeah. This is Red Wing, which Red Wing is no longer making pottery pieces, so this is an amazing set. I have a feeling that this is going, people are going to be here probably specifically looking for this set. Oh, blue glass. This is just not my thing. The salt cellars are okay, but there's, this is probably, oh, there's a hair receiver there. It's not marked, but this, I don't, this is not my thing. <laughs> I don't, I don't get this stuff. I know that like the Cafe du Monte stuff does well and people do like it. These are in excellent condition, but honestly, well, you can see up here, some of the flowers on this Cafe du Monte are chipped off. I don't want to ship these and these honestly would not sell for me in the store. I will try to pick one up so we can see if it is marked on the bottom. This reticulated, this is Italy. It's a reticulated piece. It's very nice, but it isn't something that that I could sell locally, and I am not shipping this. No way. So, yeah, these are all Italian pieces. They're gorgeous, and they're worth money. I'm just going to steer clear of them myself. We've got Elvis, which there's collectability in Elvis things, too. Oh, we've got Larry the Cable Guy. Let's see if he works. That ain't right. Lord, I apologize for that right there. Yeah. These should be military. It should be marked U.S. Yeah. These are military. Um, it's a Bakelite. And they are they were commissioned by the military. You can see the U.S. there. So these are nice. And people do like these. It's Bakelite. So to show the age on it. There are three tumblers. Yeah. These are all U.S. military as well. I mean, this obviously isn't, because they're not, they didn't pass out floral plates to the military, our servicemen, but those tumblers are pretty good. These are pretty fun, though. They kind of look like a cruel glassware, but they're not, and I do like these. 
they said their dishwasher say so they're not ancient old but they're still pretty fun pieces oh here's a bowling the 215 club there's another military bakelite mug there. Oh, just so fun. this is kind of neat though because it does have the serving thing with it this is what i came over here to look at this oh my god oh my god okay yeah i want that i want that all right calm down misty pummels nah but i do like oh my gosh she's so cute I like that what is this kind of looks like my dad um this oh he had a little hat i took his hat off sorry philip he's amazing if i'm empty-headed it's your fault because he's a bank Oh, it's FTD. No, thank you. Oh, here's the clear. This is the older one. The bluer one, the blue one is more modern. This is the older one, but it's pretty yellow, and he doesn't have his cups. That's very cool. This is a little pretzel. Oh, it's missing the lids. Probably nuts. Oh, no, just snacks, but it's missing the bottom lid. These are kind of fun. Here are these parfait spoons. I saw these on the website and I loved them. What is his name? It's Home Co, but Blueberry Hound? Leave me comments. What were their names? I mean, I can go home and Google it, but oh my gosh. There's Bigfoot. And even this, believe it or not, this probably has some collectible. No. That's no. Oh my. That's what you're going through. Yeah, we won't be we won't be taking him. Oh my. Still going. I do. Oh my gosh, I love these. And these. Oh my god. I just can't even. I'm just I just mm, I want every single one of these. I want every do I need all of these? No. But I want them. My I mean, oh god, I'm gonna flip out in about five minutes. Look at this new old stock. He's probably Dixie. Oh, yes, it's not new old stock because it's in a Ziploc bag. But still, they still survived. Oh my lanta! This is the preview, like I said. The auction, we get here about an hour, 45 minutes or so before the auction starts so we can preview everything before we kind of make a decision on what we're wanting to go for. Here's more of these boutique, more boutique bag. It's new in the box. It's never been put together. I mean, oh my god. I'm just gonna cover that up. I mean, it almost makes me want to cry. I'm starting to get that little anxious feeling because I see there's so many things I see here that I want. I'm just kind of walking around in the days. There's amazing furniture here. There's amazing things here. I mean, I just don't even know what to do. I'm flipping out. This is me flipping out. Flipping out. I almost feel like I need to smoke a cigarette and I don't even smoke. Mark, is yeah. this my kind of auction? Oh, uh, absolutely. Are we going to go home with a lot of this stuff? I hope not. Oh. 
I mean, that's full. Look, it's a Mrs. Claus. I don't have a flaw. Mrs. Claus. Look at his angry face. Look at his angry face. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm flipping. Oh my god. I don't. <sighs> I'm going to lose it in about five minutes. I mean, seriously, I'm going to. I kind of just want to stand here and not leave this box of Christmas ornaments, honestly. Huh. Oh, boy. I... This is where I will lose my mind just a little bit. And I'm trying to remain calm, not flip out too much, because then I will cause a scene, and nobody... Nobody wants to see that. But internally, okay. we'll see. So far, we got two Coca Cola clocks. I think we paid $6 for one and 5 for the other. Some license plates and some primitive tools. So, pretty good start. They'll sell in the shop. Three statues. Three students. Anybody get a $50 bill for all three of them? Anybody get 20 now, thank you, sir. Now, 25. 20 here, we're going to get 5 on the statue. 20 here, we're going to get 5. Bob, we're going to get 25. 20 here, we're going to get 5. Bob, we're going to get 25. 20 here, we're going to get 5. Bob, we're going to get 25. 20 here, we're going to get 5. Now, $30. $30 bill. Here, we're going to get 30, sir. We're going to get 30. Now, 5. Here, we're going to get 35. Bob, we're going to get 35. 30 here, we're going to get 5. $40. 35, 40. Now, 5. Here, we're going to get 45. Bob, we're going to get 45. 40 here, we're going to get 5. Bob, we're going to get 45. 40 here, we're going to get 5. 40 here, we're going to get 5. Bob, we're going to get 5. Here, we're going to get 5. Bob, we're going to get 45. 40 here, we're going to get 5. 40 here, we're going to get 5. Bob, we're going to get 45. Here, we're going to get 45. So that's $40, sir. 122. Germany. I can't remember. All right. Come in there. $50 meal. $10 meal. What's the shot? 10 Now 20 Now 30 $30. 30 Now 40 $40. 40 40 50 60 60 60 Now 70 70 70 70 in the back. I need 70 70 70 70 70 70 70 Give me 65 65 Now 70 Now 75 Seventy-five. Ten dollars and seventy-five. Seventy dollars and seventy-five. Got to go. Yes or no? Now eighty. 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 Seventy-five and eighty. I sold seventy-five dollars in the back. Taking a little bit of a bite. Still going on. I don't even know. I don't even know how much I've spent. That's kind of a dangerous thing. But you can tend to five dollar and two dollar yourself to death. But um, when you can get things for a pretty good price, it's hard not to get it. So they're still doing. They did break off into two groups, which always makes me nervous because I can't be in two places at once. So, still going on. Still buying stuff. Say hi, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> right now they're selling a bunch of Elv Elvis memorabilia, but I mean, not memorabilia, more Elvis collectible things. Just a few things like this melanine Stetson stuff. There's a lot of it here. It's not something that I'm going to buy. This Mel Mac dinnerware. I do have people coming in and look for it. The purple is a color that I've never seen before. Oh yeah, there's a little napkin holder, so we'll see. Golly, this Elvis stuff is taking a little too long. Taking a little too long. Oh, we've had that guy. We've had that. It was a salt and pepper shake and a napkin holder that goes with it, too. <sighs> the napkin holder's in there, too. Oh, you put your paper plate there, and then it has a little holder for your... Oh, that's cute. I like this stuff, too. The Starburst stuff. It's a no-name. But there's insulated tumblers, and there's a pitcher in there. So I kind of like that. That's kind of fun. Oh, come on, Elvis. 
Elvis needs to leave the building. <laughs> Done at the auction. It's, what time is it? Two o'clock. When we got up to pay, we thought that our total was 590. And so I didn't bring that much cash with me. And then it ended up being 390 and 50 cents. So we, we left this awesome auction with $60 and left over. So that, that doesn't happen very often. So it was a good auction. We didn't have really high hopes because the pictures weren't that great, but Kinzer auctions never let us down. We always do very well at them. I was able, there's some of the, some of the haul back there. I was able to go through some tables and get things for free, which I always like to do. Um, we're gonna take this stuff to the shop and put it in our, um, we have a trailer that we keep kind of overflow in that we just emptied, which we were very proud of and now we've kind of filled it back up again. But I'm gonna go out there and do a haul video and uh, go through some of this stuff. Some of it will be sold online. Some of the stuff will be sold in the shop. I'll kind of talk about that a little bit too, but man, it was a good auction. I, you sometimes leave auctions and you feel a little giddy. You feel a little happy and excited inside. Do you feel giddy and happy and excited? No. Well, I do though. And I, we, got, we got some, some cool stuff so I'm so excited anyway um, if you like this video make sure that you hit the like button and if you haven't already make sure that you subscribe so you can catch me doing this haul video that's worth subscribing in itself and I will see you in the next video coming up bye